Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video and today we'll find out if a car subwoofer works with this home theater system. This is the Sony DVD home theater system DAV DZ390K and there's a little problem with this. The subwoofer which is uh, right over here this original subwoofer this does not work and this problem has been around since a uh, few months now. So if I play a song here. So you can see there is no bass, even though the subwoofer is connected, there is nothing, there is no sound coming from this thing. And this was working like few months ago, it just stopped um, randomly and you can see wire is connected no problem. And I've also checked the connector which connects to the home theater system, it is completely fine, the wire is also completely fine there are no breaks or anything so I'm guessing the problem is either inside the uh, home theater system there's something wrong wrong with the amplifier or there's something wrong with the subwoofer I am betting if there's something wrong with the subwoofer I think what has happened is that the wire which connects to the subwoofer that wire inside the enclosure has gotten loose somehow and there is no sound coming from this thing okay so I did a little audio test off camera and I use this old speaker I connected the speaker to that wire which goes into the subwoofer and it's kind of very very difficult to do this so I had to do this off camera but the amplifier is completely fine the amplifier is outputting audio signals uh, to that cable so the problem lies over there and once again I just checked out these connectors these connectors appears to be fine so the problem is definitely the wire which connects to the inside of the subwoofer and the subwoofer model is SSWS93 and it's 1.5 ohms so I have two options here either I open up the casing of the subwoofer and I rewire the wire which connects to the speaker and there is still no guarantee it will work or not because if the coil of the subwoofer is blown then it's not going to work even if I open up the casing and that's a really cumbersome task because this thing is completely sealed I'll have to crack open the wood which is on the back and there are no absolutely no screws or anything this thing is once again completely sealed and the second option is that I buy a completely new subwoofer now the problem with buying a new subwoofer is that Sony does not sell these anymore and these are not available at the retail shop these subwoofers come bundled with a home theater with the Sony home theater system. So these are not available for separate purchase and I did call up Sony service center. It looks like they are not selling these anymore even as a replacement because these um, this is a discontinued model. Okay so I have been looking for a possible replacement for this and the rated power of this subwoofer is 280 watts RMS and this one is listed on Sony's website DAVDZ390K and the closest I can get is this one this is the Sony car subwoofer I think the model is XSNW1202S and this one is rated at 300 watts now unfortunately they haven't provided uh, us with the ohm value the impedance value and on this subwoofer the impedance is rated at 1.5 ohms and I think most probably this car subwoofer will be uh, 4 ohms and it should work there will be a little bit of power loss but it will work and I don't think we require any additional amplifiers or uh, any 12 volt power supplies I think uh, and it's also available on Amazon so I'll just order this and uh, wait for it to get delivered and like I said I don't think any external power 12 volt power supplies or 12 volt capable amps are required for this we'll just directly wire this up in the home theater system and it will work so wait for this to be delivered and I'll be right back alright guys so here is the new subwoofer the size of the speaker is 12 inches Sony and this little badge here Sony high power subwoofer system so here are the connectors on the side and these are slightly different connectors than the one on the previous subwoofer but doesn't matter the wire should fit in properly no problems so the model number is XSNW1202S and the rated power is 300 watts and the ohm value is 4 ohms so that was 1.5 ohms and this is slightly higher impedance 
at 4 ohms so there should be a little bit more power loss but doesn't matter it should still work still work um, so i'm gonna wire this thing up and i'll be right back so here's a quick size comparison before i fire this up and you can probably tell that the subwoofer size on that speaker is actually quite small comparing it to this one so yeah and look at the box and wiring this thing up was not an issue the wire just uh, fits right in so it's completely tight and snug all right guys so the tune i'm gonna play here is called on and on by cartoon and this is one of those ncs release songs so no copyright sounds and this shouldn't cause any copyright claim on my video so it's safe to play this and if you want this sound and if you want this song link is down in the video description i'll put all of this stuff in my video description all right so let's play this so i'll play the downloaded version got right over here and by the way guys if you hear any distortions if you hear any uh if you hear the sound gets lower or higher that's not an issue over here that's issue with the camera's microphone because you guys know how small these microphones are so in real life it sounds perfectly fine so let's play this I think the glass on the window is also shaking so holy crap guys this thing is 10 times better than the stock subwoofer of the system even though this thing is running under powered with this amplifier this thing still has the ability to shake the whole ground and this whole ground over here was vibrating so I'm very very happy with this purchase excellent subwoofer and once again has to be done about that window that thing is shaking and the maximum I've gone here is at volume 21 and this thing goes up to 30 I think I'm not even gonna think of playing this thing at that volume because it becomes way too loud and the neighbors might complain so it goes up to 34 so yeah this thing is darn powerful i think this thing is uh, 1000 watts rms so this thing is quite a powerful little home theater and this thing has a digital amplifier so the way this thing works is that i've wired this thing directly to the home theater system so there are no 12 volt power supplies there are no external amplifiers there is no especially there is no car amplifier connected and there's a lot of misconception online about connecting uh, car subwoofers a lot of people say that you might require an um, additional car amplifier with 12 volt power supplies but that's kind of true in some some uh, some music systems you might need to do that but with this uh, particular home theater system i don't see a, uh, a need for this so seems to work perfectly fine and the fun part is this thing sounds much much better than the stock subwoofer of the sony home theater system and one difference i have noticed with this subwoofer is that the sound is tight this thing has a lot more punch in the sound so whenever the bass hits this thing has a lot more punchier sound compared to the old subwoofer now the old subwoofer unfortunately is not working so i cannot do a comparison between these two but this one does sound a lot better than the previous subwoofer and i'm very happy with this purchase and the best part is my home theater is working once again and i don't need to purchase another another home theater system 
Now the reason why this is successful is because A. There isn't much difference in the rated power of the amplifier and the new subwoofer and B. We are connecting a higher impedance subwoofer to a lower impedance amplifier. As a rule of thumb, don't connect a lower impedance speaker to a higher impedance receiver. You might risk damaging the amplifier. And C. Lastly, this home theater system has a low pass filter for the subwoofer. So the sub only plays the lower frequencies and being a sealed box sub, it sounds great. While mids and highs are played back by these uh, speakers. So we have three speakers on the front and two speakers on the back. And with the subwoofer, I got a uh, mounting bracket. We don't need this because we are using this car subwoofer at home. And warranty card and the installation instruction and user manual. And that's all you get with the uh, packaging. And this is how it sounds like without a subwoofer connected. So this is connected but yeah it's not working. So you guys know how much of a difference this thing makes. Love it. So guys I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these. If you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook all the links are down in the video description. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.